Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this Logic Pro 10 tutorial on how to use the sidechain filter in Logic's compressor for a sidechain ducking effect. And then you can use this filter to isolate elements of a loop or an instrumental so only that a certain frequency range is affecting the sidechain ducking. Real quick, I want to plug a couple things. First, I am now a Splice affiliate. Um, so if you're interested, and a great library of loops, samples, and plugin presets. Splice is a great place for this. All of the sounds I use in this video are actually from Splice. So if you sign up, use the affiliate link below and I'll get a little kickback and this helps support the channel. My second plug is my sister, Brittany Stroud, has just started a YouTube channel with cover songs and originals. She's a really great singer, guitarist, and pianist. She's a really talented songwriter as well. So she's trying to get her channel up and running. Uh, so go check her out. Uh, subscribe to her channel and leave her some love. All right, so now on with the video. So this is the kind of effect uh, that I'm talking about. Pay attention to the drum loop here and this bass down here. So the kick drum in this drum loop here is compressing the bass line only when the kick hits. So let me just uh, mute out the keyboards here just so you can hear that one more time. So you can see that the majority of the compression is happening on the kick drum. Now real quick, let me take this back a step. Um, I'm sure you're all very familiar with this type of effect where you have a kick drum on one channel, just an isolated kick drum, and then a bass on another. And what you can do is you can add the compressor plugin to your bass channel, and then you set the side chain input up here to the channel that you want to uh, be the side chain source. So right now I just have this kick drum here that's gonna be triggering the compressor to duck down. I'm gonna turn the filter off for now. But with that, you have an isolated uh, source for the sidechain input. So if I switch this over to this drum loop here, I'll just change the sidechain to audio, and then that is the LFS-140 drum loop. So the sidechain compression effect is happening, the ducking is happening, but the problem is that the full frequency range of the drum loop is being used as the sidechain source. So it's getting compressed on the snare drums, on the hi-hats, and on the kick drum. So what you can do with a sidechain filter is you can turn this on to use it, but you can click on this listen button. And what this will do is it'll listen to the sidechain source. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute the original drum loop just temporarily, and in listen mode, the signal of the drum loop is gonna come through on the bass channel just so we can listen to the source. And then it shows us how much compression is being applied for each note or each transient in the drum loop. What you can do here is you can set this to a few different filter types. So. The ones I typically use are low pass, band pass, and high pass. So if I use a low pass filter and then sweep down the cutoff frequency here, I can isolate mostly just the kick drum. And to further isolate it, I can play with the Q here, which is the bandwidth. Except in filters, uh, Q usually controls resonance. I think this is a resonance control, not a bandwidth control. And that's actually okay because I can put that resonance, that uh, resonance is essentially just feedback. 
so I can put that resonance right on top of the kick drum to really bring it out and really filter out all of the elements and isolate the kick drum. So now when I turn on my filter, this will go back to compress uh, the original bass line with only the filter frequency applying the ducking effect. So just that isolated kick drum is now going to apply the ducking effect. So here I'm just using this for a simple ducking effect for bass, but really the implications of this are very far reaching. For example, if you had two instruments that were sort of interacting with each other in a mix uh, in a bad way, you know, they had too much of the same frequency, you could use the filter to sort of make one instrument carve out the other instrument at only when it's that certain frequency range is used. Um, you could also use this for things other than kick drum um, by using the band pass or high pass filter. Let's say that I wanted the snare drum to be the, the trigger source, the, the, the ducking source. Um, I can put this on band pass mode, put it on listen, listen to the loop and try to isolate just the snare drum. So you can see now just the snare drum is applying the most amount of compression. All right guys, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple video. That's how you can use the detection filter in Logic's compressor to isolate elements in a loop rather than having to have isolated elements in your session and apply a compression sidechain ducking effect with only those isolated frequencies. So again, I'm a Splice affiliate now, so if you're interested in getting a bunch of different loops and samples and things like that from Splice, if you want to sign up, use my affiliate link below, and it uh, helps out the channel because I get a little kickback from each sale from Splice. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. You can also check me out on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, and if you'd like to make a monthly contribution to the channel, you can also check me out at patreon.com forward slash music tech help guy. Thanks for the support and thanks for watching.